hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. Hi everyone, today I'm just going to follow up on a request um, for a stamping video using wax instead of ink. And um, the person who asked for it said they were really struggling to do this technique, so I just thought I'd um, put it into a video for you to see. I hope you enjoy. So what you, I've got this on my hot plate. If you've not got a hot plate and you've only got an iron, just turn your iron so that it's into the mini hot plate position and you'll, you'll be alright with that. I've got my work card, which is going to be my piece of artwork, and I've got what I'm calling a palette card, and you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a second. I could have just used the top of my hot plate, but then that means I've got to clean it all up as well. So, what I'm going to do is get some green. So we use our palette card and just melt some of the colours and I'm, I'm actually mixing the greens up if you look. I want a couple of bits of brown. We basically make like a lollipop tree. So you've got something like that. I'll we'll be thinking, what is he doing? Then I've got my rubber stamp. It's the little bush tree that I'm going to use to, to show the technique. So what we're going to do now is paddle the stamp in the molten wax. Those of you that are stampers will now be like taking a big gulp of breath. With, oh, he's going to he's going to ruin that stamp. Honestly, it won't ruin the stamp. Certainly not the red polymer ones anyway and if you look I've just bounced it all around and then you can see it's, it's well covered and I'm going to press down don't get this surface is heated there we go we've got an imprint I'm just going to put some more wax on I'll put a couple of these trees on here now Second one, that one I probably held it on a little bit too long. And the third one, and I'm gonna just put more wax on the front part of the stamp on the foliage, and I'm then gonna angle it and just print some of the foliage under the trees. A little bit more on. If it seems to have dried up a bit, can you just pop a bit of clear wax to like so? We're only doing the foliage a bit, so that'll be fine. Just make some look like the sap on some grass. Hopefully, by demonstrating this technique, the person that asked the question will get the general idea of how to do it. Again, I've used the big hot plate, but you could have used either the compact hot plate or the iron turned upside on its or laid on its back. Okay, caustic art number eight. Happy painting everyone and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe.